now we're up at three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the fucking morning doing a podcast. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Unearthly Duo. It's three in the fucking morning. We just got back from seeing Avengers Endgame. Uh, normally, we talk about trailers, and then we do spoiler-free, then we do spoiler-filled, but we're skipping all that. We're just getting straight into the movie this time. One, because it's late, and two, this is going to be kind of hard to do a spoiler-free. There's no free. way to do a spoiler-free. Other than be like, oh, the movie's good, and it, it did good in the characters, but like, you can hear that from everybody else. I Just go see the movie. That's my spoiler-free. It's, yeah. it's great. Um, so spoilers right now. So if you haven't seen the movie, get the hell out of here because we're gonna ruin some shit for you. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man's dead. I guess Robert Downey Jr. is not dead, but Iron Man gone. That was actually a really sad moment. Yeah. Uh, Especially because like you could, didn't know if he was there listening, like seeing them, because he was just like all burnt. Yeah, but you also it was also a proud moment. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I, I, I his. Potts took it better than I thought she would. Yeah. Because she's, like, for four or five movies, however many she's in, mm-hmm. three, um, she's telling him not to do stuff. But not she, even, she even mentioned it, and she's like, and I'm normally telling you not to, so, like, this movie, she's like, it. yeah, go for it. Well, what's the worst that could happen? He dies. I liked, too, how they, at the end, they kind of tricked me. I thought maybe she was just listening to his tape over from the beginning. And it was just going to be some extra stuff we didn't hear. But then yeah. he actually, like, recorded it and like for his daughter and all that. And then when he said, I love you 3,000 to her, that was kind of cute and sad also to the daughter. Yeah. Do you think she's going to come back up at all? His daughter? Yeah. Like, do you think she'll be in any of the movies? Going, or do you think Pepper and all that, they're done? I think they're done. With him. I kind of assumed they'd be done with him. Maybe a mention of them or and if they do another Avengers in, like, five years or whatever. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she shows up. Um... Captain America in the end, time traveled, and then stayed with, uh, what's her name? Can't think of her name. I can't Too late. Yeah. And they grew all together, which I kind of like. Um, I'm more of a Captain America fan than than Iron Man. So I was, yeah, I was, I was good with that. <laughs> what I wondered about, because it's in, in the end when he's sitting next to Falcon and he's old and he gives Falcon the shield, which is pretty cool. I like that. I wonder if. It made me wonder if the show Falcon and the Winter Soldier is not the real name because now the Falcon's kind of Captain America. Yeah. Um. But I wondered now if he has to avoid himself if in the civil w- is it Winter Soldier when he visits her in the hospital and then Civil Civil War she dies if he has to avoid himself because he goes and visits her in that movie. Oh my god. Because he ran into himself from Avengers and like had a so I wonder if he's like oh I'm just gonna stay at home she's Sometime- in the hospital I know I'll see her sometimes she- you he literally. F- fought himself in this that movie. was such a fucking cool especially when he's like i can do this all day and he's like yeah i know like yeah. come on it, he was literally making fun of himself which was pretty funny the, all the time travel stuff like going back to the old movies was f- great i could i could watch some time travel to their old movies all day it was pretty neat how they did it and because it, it didn't seem cheesy at all yeah it didn't and it was like it because they had to they refilmed a bunch for yeah. it yeah like the scene of them over Loki, and and I believe in the original Avengers, that's not even really them there. Like a couple of them, it is, but I think a lot of it they even like CGI their heads on it. So they reshot that, and then them going down the elevator to Hulk, like they fit it into these other movies. Yeah. So it'll be interesting, like rewatching those now. You're like you remember other scenes that'll happen in between. Yeah, it was cool. And like I didn't expect like Robert Redford to show up and yeah, and watch the stuff. And it was cool too when they they kind of redid the elevator scene with Captain America and he was in there. And then he even like there was a comic nod to him going evil too, and like to get away from there. Yeah, like he says Hill Hydra to them. There's a lot of stuff like that. Like I, they're never gonna explain it, and I I feel like it's kind of cool though. Like now when they're in the elevator with him later on, won't they just be like, oh, he's with us, and they wouldn't want to fight him? Yeah. So, yeah. it, like, it k- messes up things, but in, like, in a cool time travel way where it's like, yeah, don't think about it. Well, yeah, impl- I mean, what does he care? He's back to the future. Yeah, he's old and it won't matter. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other, like, crazy moments. Uh, I love the new Hulk. The new Hulk was... He was Professor Hulk, basically, like like I, I said in our uh, Road to Endgame video. He, I, I love him like that. He was really funny in the beginning. So, like... Because Hulk does have his own was, per- Hulk personality, so is Hulk mixed with this, or is Hulk gone now? Because it seems like he says that he mixed the brain and the brawn, but it doesn't seem like he's Hulky, you know? You know, it felt like just that he was just bigger than Hulk. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, made, it made me wonder, like, oh, he kind of got rid of the Hulk personality. 
Yeah. Well, like, well, he didn't even want to. <laughs> what did he say when he? Oh, when he was smashing, he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> like, Ugh. Yeah. That, that was. There was a lot of really good moments like that. Like, I have. To, I think I have to see this movie a couple times just to like remember it all and get it all too. Because it's so long. Like, by the time they're at the end fighting Thanos, you kind of forget about some of the other shit that happened in the beginning. Well, I mean, not complete. Like, you remember and you think about it, but like, yeah. Um, what was your favorite part of the movie? My favorite part is definitely when Captain America got Thor's hammer and beat the shit out of Thanos. Oh, that was a really good part. He just kicked his ass. Like, he still got knocked down, but, like, that was such a cool moment. Yeah, it, it didn't last long. I, and did then you did you hear what Thor said when he, when he did it and swung at him? Hmm. He goes, I knew it! Uh-huh. Which is a callback. There was a lot of cool little callbacks like that, too, to other movies, like little quotes. Yeah. And, like, that scene, like, because he almost picked it up. I wondered that, because, like, they kept sh- they showed the hammer down. And then he almost killed Thor, and I was like, I don't think that's gonna happen. I didn't think it was gonna happen either. And then I was and like, th- and then I was a little worried because he kept getting closer and closer. And then he that was that was such an awesome scene. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, I'll ask myself, what's my favorite <laughs> scene? Oh, sorry. You, you what's your favorite man? part? I don't know. Um, I love Paul Rudd. And it was cool seeing him in a movie that actually had stakes because a lot like in Civil War he's gonna in and out. And then Ant Man movies, they like they're cool, but they don't really matter. Like like nothing. It's not world ending. Seems like it matter. I mean, they had to go the quantum realm. Around the I was a little worried because like they don't have a lot of movies. Like, hey, these are coming out. Other than like we know Doctor Strange and the Black Panther and Spider Man, so like they're gonna come back, but they got dusted. Mm. But when Thanos appeared from um, Nebula, sending sending back like the past Thanos appeared, and he blew up Avengers towers. Just, that was an awesome scene. But then when Ant Man goes flying, he's the first explosion. I was like. <gasps> Please don't kill Ant Man. Oh, you thought I was a little afraid because uh, like a lot. I've seen on Twitter so much people crying from this movie, and I was like, oh, so killing, I, uh, killing. Like I feel, I thought maybe like a like a character like him would die, and then a big guy would die. See but that, ins- instead, they just killed three big characters. I didn't think. Uh, actually, when they shot and the, like everyone exploded, I thought to myself, you know, I know they're superheroes, but that would hurt. Yeah, like I, like. It makes sense. War Machine. So War Machine. He's in a suit. He's fine. A uh, rocket. He got kind of lucky, but he's small, so that kind of makes sense too. With Hulk. Like a lot of them. And then I see uh, Hawkeye in the bottom, and I was like, "Well, that's kind of pushing it a little bit." Yeah. But I thought it was interesting. Hawkeye too. was pretty cool in this movie. Yeah, he actually was. I actually really liked him. I wonder if he's gonna stay at Ronan or go back to being little Hawkeye because he is supposed to have that series out where he is training his daughter. Yeah, I don't know. Which I don't know whose it is, but his daughter is one of the director's daughter. Like in oh, real life, really? yeah. Um, I liked that uh, the the new gauntlet they made. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Um, let's talk about Chris Hemsworth. That that was pretty. I didn't expect that at all. No. Like when when they were first when they first got to New Asgard and they're going up there and they go, oh, we haven't seen him. Blah 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 blah. I was like, oh, he's gonna ha- maybe have a beard or he'll look a little dirty. I just thought he was And then he had a gut. It was like the big Lebowski, and I was like, holy shit. And then he, st- he stayed like the whole movie. I thought, when they said he didn't want to see people, I thought he was going to be angry. I didn't think uh, he was going to be, be fat. I did like he was hanging out with Korg and all that, and that was pretty yeah, cool. that was hilarious. Literally everybody's in they this movie. They were playing Fortnite, right? Yeah. Which, m- m- they, there's Fortnite for Endgame. There's like, Captain America's shield and Thor's hammer and shit like that. And it oh, now. really? Um, that makes sense. But like everybody is, everybody that's ever been in a Marvel movie is in this movie. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, give it's crazy. Yeah. Um. It's way better than the last one. Yeah, like literally. Every one of these, the every, the Russo brothers get better every time. Like Civil War, I was like, holy shit, Marvel movies can't get better than this. This is great. And then they make Infinity War, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then they make this, and I was like. Like I can't even imagine trying to 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 make that end battle. No, like any of that stuff. They, they, they like they're great. I can't wait to see what they do next. I was surprised there was a big end battle. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I didn't. Well, especially the fucking beginning. They kill Thanos. Like yeah. twenty, thirty minutes in the movie, he's beheaded, and we're like, "What the fuck?" And then they started time traveling and shit. And before they met the young Thanos, I was like, "Oh, I get it. The the bigger threat than Thanos is themselves, and like th- they're gonna fuck up time, you know, like getting the gems and all that." Mm. And then uh, Nebula, which I thought that was pretty smart, how they connected it to him was like she was on the same place in the same time, and connected to herself. Yeah, just I, I, I thought that was really good how they did that. 
Yeah, because she's like part computer or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I did really like, too, that all the people that actually got murdered in Infinity War that didn't get dusted actually stayed dead. Like, they appeared yeah. in the movie, but like in different different times and shit. Yeah. Uh, did you think that Hawkeye was going to die, or did you think... The moment they got up there, when it was Black Widow and Hawkeye, I was like, oh, she's got a movie and he's got a show. That's They can't die. And I was like, oh, wait. We know his show is him training his daughter. No one knows shit about her movie. She's going to die. It's totally going to be a prequel. See, my thinking was... And then right after that, I thought, wow, the Avengers are a couple of fuckers. They sent them there. Everyone kind of had an idea that he'd kill What's-Her-Face because Thanos was sad and then Star-Lord ruined it on the planet, you know? But they didn't know why. They, they, yeah, they had an idea. Like, yeah, and then they got there, and they was, I was like, well, they just sent those two. They hey, when I, do you two die? They should have sent Captain America so he could see the Red Skull again. I was really hoping that was going to happen. And then when when he brought it up after uh, Black Widow died, and he's like, yeah, go, why don't you go ask the red face guy? I was like, oh, I kept to work, ask questions. But yeah. But never saw him. I thought it was going to be Black Widow because she doesn't have a family except for the Avengers, but a real family. And yeah. Did. Yeah, that's that's part of it too, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, at the end, dude, like the entire theater is crying about Tony's funeral is going on. I lean over to you and I go, where's Black Widow's funeral? Yeah, they didn't give her. I mean, as far as we saw, she didn't get one. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be very interesting, like what the like, because th- it's not like there's not gonna be another Avengers or a big team up movie, like it not having Captain America or Black Widow or Iron Man in it. Well, the thing is, if they're gonna do it right, they're gonna have to like wait. I think and, I and get a I new think team I think though there won't be an Avengers for a couple of years because yeah. I mean from like Age of Ultron to Infinity War it was a good like. I don't know how many, but like three or four years, you know? Yeah. I think it'll be another thing like that. Like, we'll get a Spider-Man. We'll get all these other movies yeah. for, like, the next week. It was weird. They recently just said Spider-Man Far From Home is the end of Phase 3. This was supposed to be the end of Phase 3, and that was the first in Phase 4. Uh, but now they're saying that's the end. So I'm interested if, like, anything special is going to happen in that or not. I don't know. When does that one come out? Like June. June, I believe. I brought this up in the car. You didn't care as much, but it... Asgard? <laughs> it annoyed me a little bit. On the ride home, we're talking about the movie, and I I listened to a spoiler-free review of the movie just because it's these guys I like to know. Can I ask I you a question about that? What? What did they talk about? They just said that the movie was great, basically, and like, oh, okay. and they, they, it was good with the character. Like, they were just saying, it was great, and I just wanted to hear them talk, you know, because it's people I like. Right. But one of the guys at the end goes, I have a couple questions about Spider-Man, and I was asking, I was like, what would that even be? And then I thought, oh, wait a minute. Ned, they, he hugs Ned at the end of the movie. Ned should be five years older because, like, Ant Man's daughter grew up. Why didn't Ned and all, all of Spider? Because like, we've seen the trailer for Spider Man Far From Home. No one's grown up, and they're all on a high school field trip. Well, I mean, so d- that that doesn't make sense. But like, it's, you think? I mean, it's not like it ruins the whole Marvel universe for me. But I thought about that at the end, and I was like, oh, it's weird they didn't even think about that. The, the aging doesn't bother me at all. Like, you could just, I mean. He's a couple years older because... But he's still in high school. He's on a high school field trip in the next movie. That part doesn't make sense. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. I, I, the, the age thing doesn't matter because they're all older anyways. Unless it's like a senior trip after they've graduated. It could be, yeah, because we haven't seen... Like, they could change it and... And it's actually we'll see. like... A, you know, he was a freshman and... And then now that he's older because he was dusted for a while. Yeah, it doesn't explain why he went back to school. Maybe that's summer school after his senior year. Yeah, I don't know. Because he missed that. That was the, that, That's literally the only, like plot hole type thing I can think of from this movie. Not that I'm like, or not that I was searching for maybe, it. Maybe Ned skipped a year because he was so sad that his friend died. I did like, I really like the first thing Iron Man says when he gets off the ship in the beginning. Um, which it was so weird seeing it. Like he was like way skinnier, you know? Yeah. That was kind of, that was neat. I, I, they were so good at that. Like with like, like it was almost sick. It looked like an actual old man at the end with Captain America. But when he gets off there and he goes, I lost a kid to like, Captain America. Mm. And then, like, when he hugs Spider-Man in the end, too, that was really cool. I like Spider-Man's, like, I remember when I was, like, getting sick and I felt turned into dust, and then I woke up and Dr. Strange was there. He gives, like, the best stories, because they're, like, so He's kind of like um, Michael Pena, except, like... Yeah, a little bit. I was kind of hoping to see him, but... I was a little... Dis- w- the movie ended, and you know what my first thought was? Well, after that was fucking great, and I want to watch it again, is you're going to be disappointed Michael Pena wasn't in it. Well, only because I watched Ant-Man and the Wasp, like yesterday also they need to go find that rat that got ant-man out and give it like the world's biggest thing of cheese 
Yeah. Because that rat saved the universe. Basically. Because if it didn't get Ant-Man out, nothing would have changed. Yeah, they they'd all be sad still. They'd all be moping And there'd be Avengers. so many people dead from Ronan. Because he would have just... Was it Ronan? Is that his new name? I don't know. You keep saying that. I might be saying someone else. I don't know. Cockeye. But, um... Hot guy? Yeah, he's a hot guy. A lot. Of, do you like his I, haircut? A lot, no. of people, a lot of people hate his haircut. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. Oh, uh, it doesn't bother me at all. I like... I. If he put a cu- if he cuts up the back a little bit of mohawk, it'd be a little better. But I, I don't I don't mind it. It's like it, it seems lazy. Oh, I can see that he's like shaving. He's like fuck. I gotta kill people and just yeah. stops halfway through. Yeah, pretty much. I can see that. What's some shit we we haven't talked about a lot? What's what's some stuff we haven't talked about? Uh, Ant Man got big. Ant Man did get big. Didn't do anything special. He really punched, but he got big. He punched out one of those flying ships. You mean yeah, that was cool. But like he didn't, like I wanted him to like grab Thanos and. Stuff uh, like he should have fought Thanos. I really like one of my favorite things too was when they traveled back to Avengers One, and they were talking about Captain America's ass. Oh, that was really. And then, and then when he walks away, when he at the end after he beats himself up, he looks at his own ass and goes, "That is America's ass." Um, Captain Marvel was actually pretty cool. The I think I think I liked her in better it. in this than in her movie. She seemed more yeah. like confident, which is weird because she filmed this before she even filmed that. But yeah, but that was she was just learning. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I did like it too. I liked how when she had a haircut after like the five year jump, and she's talking and Rock is like, "What are you gonna do? Get another haircut?" Yeah. Uh, I. So do you think Guardians of the Galaxy three is gonna have Thor on it? If it does, it'd be one of the most amazing movies ever. Yeah, I'm almost now disappointed that Taika Waititi didn't do it, just to see what he would do with Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor. But I am excited also to see what James Gunn does with. Uh, Thor. If he is in it, I don't see why he wouldn't be at this point. It'd be pretty cool to see him and it'd be different. Yeah. You know. I'm really sad now that it's not gonna get filmed until after he does Suicide Squad. They're doing that and then doing Guardians. It was supposed to be like one of the other movies this year, but now well, we're gonna maybe now we're gonna hire people. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah. Now we're gonna have a giant gap for Marvel movies because it's gonna be Spider Man in June and then nothing for a while. I don't even know what the next one's gonna be. They haven't even announced it yet, but they'll have those Disney shows too. Yeah, I don't really care about the shows until they come out. I mean, they like, said those mo- like the shows, which it seemed like they kind of teed up a little bit. And this was some some shit. Although thinking about it now, like, is the Scarlet Witch and Vision one gonna be a prequel? Because Vision head, Vision Vision the didn't last come. We saw him; he had a hole in his head. Yeah, he didn't come back, as far as we saw. Oh, he didn't get dusted. Yeah, so he's yeah he's probably still dead. So it has to be a prequel, probably, which makes me care about it even less now that we're talking about it. I really d- I liked her battle against. Thanos, when he's like, yeah. I don't even know who you are. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you're going to know. And she's like, holding him up in the air, taking up all his armor. Yeah. And then, th- then he just killed all his, his own Yeah, people. he's like, just bomb him. And the guy's like, what about our people? He's like, fuck him. Yeah. That's the only way he got, the only reason he got away from her. Yeah. Um, yeah, they all kind of took their own turn at Thanos. It, It's funny that they killed him so easily in the, in the past. And then in the jump, coming from the past... They had trouble with him, but it's because he it's had his armor and all that yeah, other stuff. Yeah, when also, like, they weren't teamed up together to fight him before. I think that was kind of the point also. No, I mean in this movie, though. They just grabbed him, cut his arm off, and cut his head off. Oh, yeah, but yeah, he was he like but he said he was almost dead at that point. That's what I was going to say, is he, he's already, he had already done, he had already snapped twice, mm-hmm. so, like, I'm sure he was. I, at that point, I was like, what the fuck is this movie going to be? Yeah, because I I didn't think that a past Thanos would show up. I so then I was like, oh, were some of those trailers fake when they show Thanos reappearing? I I didn't really think, I didn't know what to think either. You had mentioned that Thanos wasn't the bad guy to me. Yeah, that's that, that's what the director said is he's not the ultimate bad guy, which he is. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> he's definitely bad guy. the ultimate bad guy. Um, but. So when they killed him, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Well, and then I thought, oh, well, the bad guy's going to be them trying to get everything. And then, yeah. But then you could see it was starting. He was going to come back. I just didn't. I didn't realize he was going to come to Earth again. I didn't realize either, which I don't I don't know how I would have known this. I, I figured the end fight was like on another planet or something because it was like ruins. And like I thought maybe it was like yeah. Titan still. And then they started blowing up uh, Avengers, new Avengers Tower. And I was like, oh, fuck, this is where the trailer was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect that. I didn't. I honestly like when, when Captain America's like, and then Falcon talks in his ear. I was like, oh shit. I was I was wondering because 
So Hulk snaps, and he and then like Ant Man walks out and he sees birds chirping. He's like, guys, I think it worked. And then is it then that Hawkeye gets the call from his wife? Yeah. So he gets the call, and then they all start fighting Thanos. And I was like, okay, where's everybody else? I just thought they weren't going to show up. I, yeah, I was wondering, and I was like, I mean, cause should, could, at least Doctor Strange could show up because he could do those things, and then nothing happened for a while, and then seven million of those things. I was like, oh, that's why it took you time. You had to go fucking all over the world collecting everybody. I, I didn't, th- I didn't realize or think about like them getting everyone there to f- help fight. Yeah, I didn't either. Was, I just, I just like expected super, a couple. Super cool. I, I liked how they basically used everything from every movie to make it happen. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah. Do you think there's any chance? the next Avengers movie or next team of movie, whatever it's going to be, will be better than this or could be better than this. Because <laughs> it'd, have to, it'd have to be at least 10 years down the line to, I think, build up to... Yeah, no, because it literally took, like, all these movies to make it this Yeah, th- this, I think it, it definitely was the perfect ending to all, all these people, too. I mean, it would have been a li- maybe a little nicer if Iron Man would have survived to be with his I, ki- kid and Pepper, but I think... Do you think I he th- wanted to, though? I mean, yeah, because he even said he like when you. No, I meant when Robert you, Downey Jr. Oh, probably not. Yeah, yeah, I think he's probably done. I mean, he's been doing these forever. He's been in almost all the movies too. He probably will still get money for the ones he's not in. Yeah, and I bet down the line too they'll do some kind of Iron Man thing, or they'll do a War Machine show, and he'll be the AI in it. So like he'll be doing some voiceover shit. Because the guy who I forget the guy's name, but the guy who did vi- did Vision and Jarvis, he did like the first two Iron Man movies and never saw the movie. He just came in for a couple hours, did his lines and. Yeah, went out so they could do simple like that. Yeah, um, because I, I believe in the comics he's been like the. It, it would be hard to beat all this because you're invested in all these characters for the last twenty two movies or however many it is. Yeah. Um. You've seen him get beat in the last movie. Yeah, and then you saw them kick ass in this one and almost get beat again, but still. And the weird thing is how serious and how I mean, there's a lot of sad moments in this movie, but it was still funny as hell. Yeah, it was one of that, the funniest. I that's think that's hard to do. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it, they're ver- these guys are really good. The Russo brothers. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing next. I don't know. They're probably taking a break because they film both. I I can see now after watching this movie how the actors, some of them, can be confused filming. They filmed Infinity War, then filmed this, and then did press for Infinity. Like they didn't know what was in each movie. Yeah. Especially with the time travel, that can like really confuse you. Well, yeah, and plus, like. I'm glad they did it that way because yeah, I and I, they also did. I believe Game of Thrones to do this with some characters, but like like Chris Hemsworth, he only saw his lines in in the script. Oh. He didn't, so he doesn't know. He probably didn't know Black Widow died until seeing it at the premiere. Oh, so like so so that, that that's that's a good way to yeah not let shit out. I, I was also pretty impressed with how much they did hide in the trailers because I like I I honestly think like if this was a DC movie or anybody else's movie, there would have been a lot of this in the trailers. But they were confident enough that this was going to do well and not put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, they they, d- they didn't need to. Yeah, they didn't need to. I think they're almost at the point where, like, I think Star Wars should kind of be like this as well. Where like you could just be like, "Hey, there's a movie coming out. Go see it," and everyone's going to go. Maybe after the next one. After, not yeah. after the last one. Well, okay, Star Wars a couple of years, like you know, maybe like yeah. ten years ago. But I, I think I think they're at the point now where they can just be like, "Hey, Spider Man's coming out. Go see it." And I think most people still would. Yeah, but see, like, you don't really care, like, the next Spider-Man. Yeah, like, that, that you won't care about spoilers, but, like, like in Avengers, yeah. yeah. Um, a- any uh, any other things? I'm trying to think of some, like, cool moments that we missed. I mean, I don't know. The whole movie was cool. Yeah, ho- I, I definitely want to see it again. I'm glad I didn't drink anything before we went. Yeah, there were some people leaving at certain moments. Someone left, and when he came back, Hulk was like, time travel, yeah, when they were making Ant-Man a baby and on the old man and all that. <laughs> Um, that that was so weird. Yeah. But the, and then the person came back and he's like, "Time travel." They they have no clue what was going on. No. But like I, I, I mean it, it is it is long. It didn't I had it didn't seem like it. I it, didn't look at my didn't, watch. It once. didn't either. Yeah. You just sometimes sometimes you do like going like, "Oh, is it gonna end?" And like this we get seventeen steps. Which were there. doesn't make any sense. No. Um, but yeah, I I love the movie. Yeah, it was really good. It was it was good. We'll have to go see it again. Definitely, I, I, and I now I can't wait for Guardians three and Spider Man Far From Home, and mm-hmm. I, I just want to get more of these movies out. I think it is weird that they kill Black Widow in this way, and they're like, but she's not gone. She has her solo movie coming out with. The, it's a prequel. 
Uh, if it's about her being a spy, then it would be earlier. So yeah, that makes sense. What's cool though too now is because in I don't remember which movie. I guess it had to have been Winter Soldier. She mentions she ran into Winter Soldier. So if it's a prequel movie, they could throw him in there a little bit too, and that might be kind of neat. Oh yeah. Like yeah. if it was like a little run in there, so they could do some cool shit like that. But um, uh, any last things you want to say no. before we go to bed? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, uh, man, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought about Avengers Endgame, and if anything we missed, we probably missed a lot, but give us a break. And <laughs> you already, what are we seeing next week? No idea. That Seth Rogen movie. Are we? I don't know what it's called, but that's out next week, so we'll go see that. I think it's called that Seth Rogen movie. Oh, really? They just give up on titles now? That Seth Rogen movie with... Uh, Charlie Theron? <laughs> that yeah. Seth Rogen movie with the girl from Mad Max? <laughs> It's a question mark at the end because the person talking doesn't know. All right, see you guys next week. I am Iron.